Today we're going to show you how to easily request a signature through Adobe Acrobat so you can get your documents signed quickly and securely. Head over to the Adobe Acrobat website and log into your account. I'll include a link in the description below. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for one or opt for their free trial. One of the great features with Adobe is the person on the other end who you require a signature from doesn't need to have an account and will be able to sign the document. Once you're logged in, under the Tools menu, click on the Request e-Signatures button. This will allow you to upload the document you need signed. You can drag and drop your file or add the file from your computer. Here we have a letter of offer we want to send out to a candidate for them to sign to confirm acceptance of the job offer. This could be any PDF files such as contracts, financial documents or confidentiality agreements where you need a signature. After your document is uploaded, select the file and then hit Continue. Enter the email address of the person you need the signature from. In the box under name, add the recipient's first name. This information is used to pre-populate the email template to the recipient. If your document requires more than one signature, you can add multiple recipients by clicking on this plus icon. You can also add a CC if you want as well to keep other parties in the loop on the progress. You may have noticed earlier there was an option to add yourself. I will just ignore this feature as you will receive a copy automatically via email when you hit the send button. Select prepare document to continue. Next you'll need to prepare your document by adding in the respective fields. You will notice that in my original template I have included an area here for the signature and date. Now just click on the box next to signature and make sure the field type is set to signature and the mandatory field box is ticked. You can also change the signature type here to include the email address. Next, click on the box next to the date. The date will automatically be pre-populated with the date in which the person signed the document. You can change the date format by allowing the recipient to manually select the date if you want by changing the format as shown. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll leave it with the date in which the person signed the document. Over on the left, you'll notice there are a number of other options you could use, such as adding in a text box, checkbox, button, and so forth, which may come in handy. If you click on the view more button, it will give you further options to select from, such as a drop down box, which you could explore at a later stage. Now that the document is ready, let's select review and send here. You can add a personal message and choose to set an email reminder. So for the reminder, every day or every business day seems a bit over the top for this type of document. Let's select every two days so we can get the ball rolling for the onboarding process. The reminder option is very useful for time sensitive documents when you need to get your document signed by a particular date. When you are ready to send the document, hit send. Adobe will now email the document to all recipients. OK, let's jump over to my mobile and see what this looks like from the perspective of the recipient on a mobile device. Now we just need to locate the email. To sign the document, the recipient will need to click review and sign. This will open up the entire document for the recipient to read through. You will notice that the date has been pre-populated here. The recipient will now have three key options to add their signature. They can type it, manually draw their signature or insert an image of their signature. If you're interested in learning more about how to sign a document using the three options, I will put a link in the description for you to check out. In this video, I will show you how to manually sign the document on the phone. Firstly, rotate the device to landscape mode, as this will give you more room to sign your signature. In the sign here box, use your finger or a digital pen to sign your signature. If you make a mistake, just press clear and try again. Select apply and then finish to finalize the document. And there you have it, the document is now signed and both the recipient, the sender, along with anyone on the CC list will get an email notification with a copy of the signed document directly into their inbox. If needed, you can also track the progress from your Adobe account. To view the status, click on activity and here you can see when the document was sent, when the document was viewed by the recipient and signed. You can also download a report here as well to view the history at any time. Adobe has definitely made it easier for both the sender and recipient to request and sign documents. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.